Segment Anything model is a new AI model from Meta AI which can do image segmentation tasks. Okay, so this was quite a revolutionary foundation model for segmenting anything in an image. Okay, so now you have fast segment anything, right? A work from, uh, you know, researchers from China, basically, right? Now this fast segment anything is claimed to have a 50x higher runtime speed when compared to the segment anything method. Okay, so this is much more faster when compared to segment anything method, right? Um, so what is uh, fast segment anything, right? How is it different from segment anything method? Okay, um, so what is segment anything task to start with? Okay, segment anything task is a process whereby effective segmentation mask is produced given any form of the prompt. Okay, now these prompts could range from foreground, background, point sets, rough boxes or masks free from text. Okay, or any information that indicates the content to be segmented within an image. So for example, uh, see you can prompt with interactive points and you can do segmentation. Uh, you can automatically segment everything in an image. You can, um, you know, give a bounding box and you can segment regions of the image, right? And you can also generate masks or segment uh, regions of the image using text prompts. Okay. So this was the segment anything task. And what was the issue with uh, say segment anything model, right? So the segment anything model actually, uh, you know, consists of a transformer architecture, right? So the segment anything model, uh, it, uh, it makes use of transformer models like VAT models as the main part of this architecture. When compared to convolutional counterparts, these models, uh, you know, they require heavy computation resource demands, right? Which uh, is a hurdle for their practical deployment, especially in real time applications. Okay. So this is where, uh, you know, this particular fast SAM method makes use of a convolutional neural network based detector. Okay. And it is, it has two sequential stages. Okay. One is your all instance segmentation stage, which makes use of a convolutional neural network backbone. Right. And then you have your prompt stage. Right. So it consists of two stage, the all instance segmentation and prompt guided selection. So for prompt guided selection, uh, you know, you have point prompts where you can specify a point and then based on that, a particular object is segmented. It could be a box prompt or it could be a text description, right? So what do they make use of for the first stage to do all instance segmentation? They make use of YOLO V8 seg particular model, right? So YOLO V8 uh, uh, seg is a, a, what do you call an object detection or instance segmentation model, right? Uh, this can be used in a variety of object detection tasks. So this particular model can actually do object detection given an image. Okay. Now what is specific about YOLO V8 SEG? It has a instance segmentation branch. So basically it does object detection as well as instance segmentation branch. Okay. So what they do is that they take the output of the instance segmentation um, uh, you know, branch from this CNN, uh, right from YOLO V8 seg, and then they make use of, you know, prompt guided selection. So how does it work? So basically they directly use the YOLO V8 segment method for all instance segmentation stage. And what they get as output from this particular stage is, you know, mask coefficients. Okay. The segmentation branch uh, inputs a high resolution feature map, preserves spatial detection and also contains semantic information, right? And it gives us output mask coefficients. Okay. Basically mask regions, it gives out as an output, right? So then what is happening in the prompt guided selection stage, right? So first you get all the successful segmentation of objects, uh, regions in an image using YOLO V8. The, in the second stage, you try to uh, you know, identify specific objects of interest using various prompts. Now you could have point prompt, right? 
So the point prompt consists of matching the selected points to the various masks obtained from the first phase. The goal is to determine the mask in which the point is located. Okay. So they can uh, employ foreground background points as the prompt in the approach. Uh, so in cases where a foreground point is located in multiple masks, background points can be utilized to filter out masks that are irrelevant to the task at hand. Okay. By employing a set of foreground background map points, they are able to select re regions of interest. Uh, they use morphological operations to improve the performance of mask merging. So basically if you give this point in an image, right, and you already have a mask of this point in, uh, you know, from this YOLO V8. Then it's about actually comparing and finding out whether this point is lying in a particular mask and extracting that mask out. So for which you can use morphological operations. Okay. That is the point prompt. Now the box prompt is more about, uh, you know, you if you have the bounding box, right? Uh, and you have the bounding boxes obtained from YOLO V8. Then it is about finding intersection over union. Whichever is giving the best matching, you extract that particular region. Right, and then you have this uh, segmented, you know, within that bounding box, you have the instance segmented. Okay, and the third one is your text prompt. Now, this is where what they do is that the text input is basically given to a clip, you know, uh, model, right? And this clip model produces out, uh, you know, your embeddings, right? Uh, you know, uh, you get image embeddings from the clip model and then based on that image embeddings, you are trying to match with the, uh, using a similarity metric with the image embeddings of the masked regions, masks, candidate masks over here. Okay. Uh, so what I liked about this paper is that it is breaking the segment anything into, you know, uh, kind of identifying uh, masks based on a pre-existing fast model, which is YOLO V8. And then doing some simple operations like finding similarity between embeddings for the text prompt, right? Uh, using the clip because clip maps this image into a uh, image text joint uh, space. Basically, you also get an image embeddings from uh, clip, right? Then it is matching of image embeddings with the mask embeddings over here, right? For text prompts, for box prompts, it is directly matching the bounding boxes and finding the optimal overlapping bounding box. Okay. And for point to pro, uh, point prompt, it is again finding where the point lies in which mass over here and then using morphological operations to, you know, extract the region. And this is much more faster compared to using your transformer architecture over here. So this is a clever trick employed in this particular uh, paper. And here they have come, uh, they have done comparisons with, uh, you know, uh, the uh, segmentation results of SAM versus fast SAM. Okay. There are some examples over here. So this is an example of, uh, you know, uh, this is the original image and this is based on a point prompt in segment anything model. This is based on a box prompt and this is uh, segmenting everything. And these are the comparative results from fast SAM. Okay. And you can see visually that the results are quite good over here, right? When you are comparing fast SAM with SAM. Here is another, this is anomaly detection application. Here is an uh, salient object segmentation. So this is the original image. Right. So this is point based segmentation of, you know, this person and this particular uh, balloon or the parachute over here. Right. This is based on the bounding box uh, segmentation. This is segment everything. So if you look at the results from fast SAM, it is also close to SAM. Right. So that's what they are saying. And this uh, they did with a uh, very less data set over here. Uh, they used only you know, 2% of the segment, uh, anything model, uh, sorry, data set, 1 billion data set published by, you know, the SAM authors. So this is much more faster. They also have a demo over here. I'm not going into any further details of the paper. They also have a demo over here. So you can upload an image. This is from a previous image. So I have uploaded this image, quite a challenging image and let's segment. Uh, this takes some amount of time for the segmentation to happen, but it is quite fast right and it is done very good segmentation actually over here if you look at the objects which have been segmented you know this is segment everything uh, this is not based on a prompt or something it is just given an input image it segments all the objects in this particular image okay they also have a collab notebook you can actually try out the collab notebook as well uh, to see uh, you can make use of the collab notebook to perform segmentation tasks on your images you can test it out okay 
uh let's maybe try out with an another image uh, so this was the bangalore traffic image maybe i will try out this ct abdomen image okay um so i will upload um, that ct abdomen image right let's this is a totally different domain okay this is a different image compared to this but let's still see right let's segment and see so this is a totally different domain rather than your general object tracking right so here also it does some segmentation i had got better results in sam for this particular image with you know this liver being segmented and other things being segmented here it's not that great it is segmenting some regions but it is not segmenting the other regions in this full segmentation okay and it is introducing some segments outside also like this right you see this box over here right so you know how much fast segment anything uh, works now when compared to segment anything model is you need to actually test it on your images to find out okay when i did zero shot with this particular ct abdomen image on sam i got better results compared to fast sam okay but this is a very cool project and it's a very clever idea which they have used over here right using a uh, object detector to get the mass and then using some kind of similarity and other things over here to you know uh, segment objects or instances based on say point prompt box prompt or text prompt okay so this is an interesting paper uh, quite an interesting idea i would say so i'll be putting the link to this paper uh, this demo as well as their github page their collab notebook as well you can go and try it out i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video